Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to this Let's Play Imperator Rome. Remember from last time, we had an omen and an invention, and we were preparing for this war here, which we very nearly got enough oratory power for. So we're going to wait for that and cast our Discipline one. And we do have another technology. What should we research? Yeah, that's pointless now. Recovery. Omen power. It'd be quite good because we're about to do the discipline one. Fabricate claim cost would mean we could claim it now. National commerce income. You know, I think we're going to do the omen power plus 5%. Boom. So when we come in here, we can now see we're getting 6.3 instead of just 6. Lovely stuff. Do we have enough to stab a peg? Do we have enough? 300 to stab a peg? That means we're not going to have enough left for an omen. Because they're 200. So we're not going to stab a peg. Stab a peg gives you stability. To sacrifice to our gods. Got a little picture of a peg. Let's move our troops so they're not taking attrition. Because of what we are. Right, time advance a couple of times so we can get our... Orchard power needed to fabricate a claim on these two areas here. Well, actually, we come down, fabricate claim. We can't click on it at the moment, but it should be this whole province in the one claim. Just a wee bit to go. Oh, there's his army there. Lovely. They cannot be merged because they're yep. Yeah, yeah. One of them's got eight skills, so I'm gonna want him to be leading the charge. We now have the two hundred. Fabricate claim. We can see we can fabricate claim on here. And that's just claimed the whole province. Now I just need to wait to then to declare war. Supply limit is seven there. Oh, he just recruited a unit of chariots. That'll be nice. That'll help us quite a bit. So it's starting to go up. Supply limit there's ten. Move them there. Then we'll move both in together. We can call our ally as well, but I don't think we need to. Actually, we might, just to make sure nothing goes wrong, we don't muck up, because and also that weaken them a wee bit, so that'd be good for us. He's building another fort up there. See so he's got he's quite big, he's quite wealthy. That's a problem for us. But he's on our side, so yeah. We'll wait for our troops to get into position. And we shall declare war. And we shall call our allies. So they've got 11k there. Okay, right, let's do this. War. Confirm. They're now at war. Brilliant. They joined it. Come here, let's do our blessing. Increase our discipline. Move our armies together, then we'll go in. Just didn't want to take attrition, but I didn't have to. Oh, he's moving away. Lovely. That's his capital there. If he's already going to be moving away, let's move in. He's creating a new unit of archers we should catch here, which is going to be lovely. They're just going to get wiped as soon as we arrive. Whoa! In all its glory! What's this? Oh, and they had a... Oh my word! He put, a, he put his general in charge of that 1k stack and we captured him! You could not ask for more than that, could you? Right, and they troops, they're away. I think they're away to come down here by the looks of things, which is glorious. It means I'm not even going to lose that much manpower. 
Let's take my big stack and move it down here. Because his army is away down here somewhere. Which is quite good for me. We wiped another one of his 1k little armies. He's creating a unit of chariots here now. Okay. And if he does cause any problems, we can jump this army down. And that'll be glorious. He must have his troops hidden in some fog of war, like say there. We're sieging this out now. So as you can see here, we've got the text, we've got the general, yada yada yada, the dice rolls. It's all very good. It's a pity we didn't have a big battle so we could have seen the battles in the screen for the first time in this Let's Play series. I'd require to enjoy it. But we are winning, and I have noticed in this game the AI is a lot more likely. Oh, wait, oh, pause, 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 pause. I see troops coming in. Cancel that. Reinforcements! Get moving in! He stopped coming, right? Yeah, we're just gonna have our full stack here. Is he gonna send his troops? I think I shall take the. I'll take the money. I'll take the money for now. We are losing a wee bit. Just a wee bitty bit. There we go. That's gonna get, stop him from coming on in. He would get the defensive bonus here because he still has the four. But is there much a defensive bonus here? It's a forest, I would imagine so. Well, Sienna the Lustful. Alright, we just became Lustful. Okay. We can get a new invention. Military tech investment, that'd be pointless. Diplomatic reputation, fabricate claims. Let's go for the diplomatic reputation. Yeah, let's go for the diplomatic reputation. 28, oh, oh, they're gonna come in. Oh, oh, no, no, they're not. They're thinking about it, they keep going, let's go! No, 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 we're not. Let's go, no, 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 we're not. Let's go, no, 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 we're not. The AI's like, ugh, but us, they're gonna take our capital! Come on, one in four chance, one in four chance, damn it! It's a one in three chance now, we're taking attrition. If we, if it goes on too long, this army will be able to take our line on, which is what I'm starting to get worried about. We do have reinforcements on the way inbound from my ally, but I don't think they're going to get there in time. Oh, I accept that offer. It'll give us another buff for our light infantry. Plus, we'll actually make some money from commerce. We don't have our surplus and base minerals anymore, though, but we do have money coming in. 42%, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay there. Don't come in. Don't come in. I don't think we'd win anymore. Yes, it's won. Sue for peace. I want all of here. That means I'm taking it, right? Yeah, turn to city to Caledonia. I shall okay that. It's giving us a wee bit of aggressive expansion. We could use the popularity, yeah, give them no quarter. We really need to... We really need the. Yeah, move them up there. Leave those two armies there. And bright look, we gained these two lands. And we have a surplus of wood now. Which gives tribesmen happiness. Wait, what the? What the hell did... They converted all their... What? They converted all their tribesmen into citizens and freemen. Someone had ideas of civilization. A bit early, is it not for that AI? Tribesmen looks like it is on the up here, so we will get tribesmen here soon. 
And I suppose... Oh. Interesting. The wee bit of citizens... If we come to technology... We will start to get technological points. 0 0.4! So yeah, we are going to start generating technology, so that is good, I suppose. The three men? They must have been wanting all citizens. They're still druidic, they're still picked. But I find it a wee bit weird. Tribesmen would be better for us. From one clan to another. Can only lose free situation, loses money, loses civic power. Loses. Did that do what I think it did? Do I think we just assimilated one of the that tribe into one of these this guys or something? Oh well. Bob's your uncle, job's done. Now we need to work out how we're gonna expand now. This guy down here does look pretty powerful. Nine cohorts. Actually, it doesn't look that powerful at all. It would be a quite a nice place to norm. Nine cohorts, that's all he's got. <laughs> he's done the same. Look, he's been converting a lot of his tribesmen up to citizens and freemen. You've been doing the same. Yeah, everyone's been doing it. I would have thought you would have wanted more tribesmen. So maybe we could fabricate a claim and go on this guy soon. I would have him to help. Does he have any allies or such? He's in defensive pact with... Down there and... What's this one? Down here. But they're not going to be able to get up unless they have a Brigantia, they have a, what do you call it? <laughs> Military access. So you can export in, has a truce with all of them, has an alliance with there. They've got 12 units, they've got 10. Here still has eight pops. Here has two. If I move one from there and one to there, we could colonize here. And gain those two pops. So I'm going to the problems of ten. Yep. So. Click on them. We move one to what's it called? Tarax. I can't get there. And we go to here. Tribes when we move one to here. There we go. Now we can come here. We can hit colonize. We lack the 20 civic power, so we need to wait for the civic power. Then we can colonize here, that'll link up our lands. It'll give us another source of stone. Oh, we don't have stone yet, do we? Nope, no stone there. Oh, is this all the one? Oh, that's handy. That's all the one. Oh, damn, that all was one province. That's a lot. That's really good. We've got the surplus of wards now. Then we'll get the stone. What does the stone do? Oh, four defense. That's not that great. Gains infection. Ah, uh, that's not ideal. Ah, uh, it's just this dude. It's just not a big deal. It's not our tribal leader. And, oh, we've got the power here, so we'll colonize it. And we'll move over the tribesmen. Actually, yeah, we'll move over our tribesmen. Ta-da! And that game does two. So that's lovely. Right. 
Uh, okay, what else do we need to do now? I really want to colonize there. But we need to move a lot of pops up here. It'll be quite expensive. The good thing about colonizing as well is that I gain two pops from that. And that's another place it will be growing pops. So population will grow faster as well as having those two bonus pops. So that's quite good. We do nearly have the oratory power to then fabricate a claim on this people here. With their 10k and my two 9k's, we should easily be able to conquer here. Just as long as these two down here don't cause much of a problem. We should win though, because we should be able to wipe that out really fast. Now if I gained oh, some of that, and then these two would be part of this province up here. It'd be really great to get those two. So we'd get livestock, which gives us population growth. That'd be really nice. Then we get another source of... What is it here? <gasps> grain! We want grain. We really want grain. We'd have double the grain. We'd have a surplus of grain. That'd be nice. We'd have a disloyal character. Who are you? Salt on bribe on make friends. We can stab a pig. Where's my religion? Religion. Let's stab a pig. Gain a stability. Stab a pig. We still have a whale on this. Yeah, I think I'm going to want to fabricate a claim here. As soon as we can, because we still have that discipline buff. want to make the most of it. Then once that's done, we'll maybe go for the population growth one. Because we're going to need to do quite a lot of colonization. Because look at that, that's nearly all need to colonize. Side with, who is this? All right. He is the researcher. Well, we don't care so much about the researcher. We'll side with the war chief. Side with, yeah, side with the war chief. He'll lose 20 loyalty, but who cares about his loyalty? Plus, it's high enough as it is. We have no disloyal characters anymore. That is rather nice. Supply limit 7. Same for there. Their armies are getting bigger, which is good and bad at the same time. It's really good because I'm going to be able to throw them into these guys and then just laugh. What? I've got to watch my manpower, though. We're only getting a tiny bit. We do have enough to fabricate this claim. You know what? Fabricate claim. I think that was the north one. Yep. Take Salia. Which was here, we just took the capital of it, but ours is here, Caledonia. If we can take there, that'd be great. And that's part of this lower one. Which then we're going to have to break our lines with this dude at some point to take him. Guess expansion's not too bad. Right. Oh, he's lost a defensive pact member. Let's see. Is now just him and... Oh, no, no he didn't. Is the... Yeah, okay. I was thinking free... Because I was including him. Yeah, okay. Declare war. Oh. Declare war. They two will join, but I don't know if they'll be able to get up here to actually help. And as long as we take the war goal, which is here, we're laughing because we'll get a ticking war score. So all we need to do is take here, and even if we don't take everything, as long as we take there, at the end, I'm happy. So we want that ticking war score. We're going to call our ally in. Who will join. Which is lovely. Confirm. Lovely. Maybe you straight on down to there. So the time advance. Why is he sending troops that way? Send them that way. Use your manpower to take him. War. There we go. Oh, they must have been on low thingy, because look at the morale of their armies. Is that why he ran and hid his army down here? Oh, understand what the AI was doing now. 
He ran his army away because he must have been on low taxes. I caught him with his pants down. So because he was on... Where's economy? There's economy. See here, army maintenance. He must have been on this. Decreased pay. Morale for armies, which is your army's health. 80% less. But it gives you 33% less to the costs. So yeah, he was on that, which is what these were both on. Then when I declared war, they were like, ah, raise maintenance, raise maintenance to default. But it takes time for that morale to recover. So... That's why he ran his army down here. I was like, right, let them recover, let them recover, right, they're healed, up we go. Oh, his army is bigger than mine. So that's what the AI was doing. He's recruiting a unit there. He is recruiting units like mad. But he should still not have that much. Why wait two wars? What the? First. Brigantia. We're at war with Brigantia too now? Okay, that's worrying. Brigantia does have a large amount of troops. Okay. Take where? Vault. Oh, Brigantia wants here. Because we're at war with them as well? Oh, wait, no. Brigantia wants to take Voldinchia from these guys. Ah, okay. So, as long as we get them to keep this, we're fine. And it's a war against them, not me, so worst case scenario, they lose a bit of land. The grant is quite big, though. Get him down to there. He's sieging that out for me, lovely. Whoa, what happened to one of my... Oh, wait. I was like, what happened to one of my 9k stacks? Then I realized there's two stacks together, I only moved one. Yeah, he's left me to siege that out, he's coming back to protect his lands. We've got the war goal, so we're ticking. Got a fight here. My reinforcements will hopefully get in very soon because we're losing. Come on, reinforcements. Uh, I'll take the tax rate. Come on, reinforcements. Oh, that's not good. The army will heal though, and we should win this this time round. Oh, wait, not if this army gets in there in time. We were defeated again. Not good, not good. I don't have the manpower to be losing battles. Hurry up and take this fortress, please. When you're done, come back to here, please. Ah, now my ally's getting his booty kicked. And the others are coming on up. See if I just wanted here. They're close to accepting it for just there. I would have a peace treaty with them for a while. Apparently there's going to be a battle here. We're going to lose. So I'm sending over reinforcements. Okay, they're not coming back to there anymore. Because we don't want to take this. I take this, then we're laughing. It's going to start sieging all this down for me. Then we can worry more about this Brigantian army. Ah, oh, I did not realise we were getting the two wars at once. Right, there is a point to getting technology speed now. Because we are starting to tick up. Five percent. 
That's not going to do much, though, is it? Mm. That's not a lot yet, but it will become a lot eventually, so I'm going to want it later on. There's a lot, it's really only stuff I'm going to want later on left here, isn't there? So I'll go for that for now. Come on, take here. Come on! Wait, there's a third war? Take. Who are you? Okay. You're not gonna be able to take that all from me, so I'm gonna have a ticking war score and force you to be able to force you to white peace. Let's take a look at this now. Sue for peace. Will they give it to me yet? Closer. Closer. Come on, if we just get this. If we just get this, they won't have a choice but to accept. Damn it! Let's just down here. We're running low on manpower. We do have a ticket war score though, so let's see. They'll accept! Brilliant! Supply that there is not great. And that unseized here. If I gather all my forces, we could then move in and take this guy's army down and help my allies. What did we gain from this? Three tribesmen pop. Lovely. And the oh, the livestock. That's going to be great. Now I just need to th worry about colonizing these two lands here. For that, I'm going to need a lot of population here. I could move a lot of them down from here. And then that'd allow me to colonize here. Uh, we'll worry about that soon. We'll think about this war for now. And actually... I think this is a part. So we'll go back to the political... Wait, what? I thought this was mine now. It is mine now. Why is it still saying... I thought we sued for there. Did that muck up the peace treaty? That looks like... That's their ruler! We wait peace. I didn't mean to wait peace. Oh, it's a new game. I'm new to the user interface. I'm going to say it's down to that. I thought the peace treaty was us taken there. I thought we had it selected. It must have just been available for us to ask for. Because I know you've got to own land in that area, especially forts. forts in that area to be able to even claim it as part of the war deal. I thought we had it selected. We must have just had it available. Can 
cannot believe we did that. Fudge. That's going to be ages till we can even declare war on this dude again. I was going to be happy as long as I took here. Right, we're going to have to play tall for a while. Maybe colonize those two lands might be a bit more important than I thought. See if we can colonize up there. Try and make the money to build a market or something. God damn idiot! I'll see you all next time. Bye, bye.